Mitch? Uh, just a great road win uh, against a team that was playing really well. Um, but the kids had tremendous focus, especially in the second half. Uh, you know, I thought we locked down really well on them. It was a great defensive half. Uh, you know, that team was, was second in the nation in three-point shooting and averaging in the mid-70s, and we held in the 60s. So it, obviously the defense was a big part of the win. Questions for the student-athletes? Ryan, you guys have put more with a 20-1 to run. What were you guys doing well during that spurt, do you think, in the second half? Uh, I think defensively we were doing great. We were talking, we were moving, and uh, the key was we were only holding them to one shot. We did a great job on the defensive class, and that really fuels our offense when we could get the ball to Rakeem quick, and he could put he could uh, quick up. So I think just holding them to one shot really really felt, helped our offense out. Ryan, what can you say about the boost that Davis gave you guys after OD got in foul trouble? So? Um, I mean, he's been playing phenomenally, phenomenal anytime he's been called upon. Uh, in practice, he earns his minutes, and then when he gets out in the game, he just goes out there, gives it all. He's always battling. He's always fighting with someone for a rebound. Um, he's, he's got a good feel for the game, so he's just been he's been tremendous when, when called upon. Being the league opener, was there any motivation to show people, hey, we may have some new parts, but we're still a three-time defending champion, and we're still a yeah. team to beat in this league? Right? I mean, I mean, obviously, uh, the one and three record. I think people might have been down on us, but we're not down on ourselves at all. We know we just have to keep getting better, and we want to make a statement in the first game of league play and just you know reestablish ourselves. And um, you know, let teams know that we're serious. Davis, can you comment on the game you had, especially in the second half after OD came out of the game? Mm, I'm really proud of uh, the team effort and um, how we all um, bought into the stuff the coach said, Coach Mangor said to us. Um, and I, f I feel like we had a really good game, and we should continue to play like this. Do you, do, you, do you feel like you're starting to get the hang of things? You know, that you're playing more of the hang of Division One ball and what you're supposed to be doing out there? Yeah, definitely. I feel uh, a lot more comfortable than last year on the court. Um, big part also uh, because of Coach Brunner Girl. I think um, he, he really understands how uh, how to get the best out of me and the team. So uh, I feel much more comfortable. Rakeem uh, Robinson's been shooting lights out. Can you talk about how, what you guys did defensively against him today? Um, Clarence, uh, he was putting a lot of pressure on Robinson today, and um, preventing him from making, I mean, getting good, good, good looks at the shot. I mean, uh, he had a couple, he had a couple deep ones that uh, was contested. I mean, they were tough shots, but for the most part, Clarence, Clarence really clamped down on him. Davis, how valuable was it for you to have so much playing time in the second half just to help you develop as a player? Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, we learn every day, and I think this is just another day of learning. This is the first Division One league game in any league in the country, Ryan. How do you guys feel about having the the conference opener this early in the season? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, it no, it was definitely different, and uh, you know I, I noticed that in the schedule. And um, you know it's a good test for we have a young team, obviously, and it's a good test just to get these guys experience and understand what league play is because it's it's certainly different than out of conference play. I think there's a lot more scouting, a lot more attention to detail on both sides. And um, you know it's harder to run your stuff against a league opponent. They've been doing it for years against you, so they know you and they take things away more so than an out of conference team would. So um, you know it's a good test just to throw the young guys out there, show them what it's like, and uh, I thought they responded very well. Yeah, your first league game, Rakeem, did you notice a difference in, in between this game and the first four? I don't know the intensity of the game, or did it seem like it was any different from the first four? Um, yeah, I would say it was a little different. Uh, the intensity was there. And um, I mean, I wasn't fully focused in the first half, and um, I mean, I seen it, and also Coach Bonnie Guerrero, and uh, towards the second half, I matured a lot, and, uh, and I got it going. Rakim, in the first half, I think you guys had eight turnovers, and you cleaned that stat up with only four in the second half. What we, was that something that Coach stressed at halftime, or did you guys do anything better as far as taking care of the ball? Uh, we stressed that every day, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, second half we we pretty much took care of the ball well. Uh, first half, we was doing uh, little mistakes. I mean, leaving our feet, um, the ball hit off my foot. It was just, it was just little mental lapses. But I mean, we got it together in the second half, and uh, we came out. We played good. Last the, question for the players: Was the defense able to get you into the running game that you liked in the second half? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Mitch, uh, Coach Mitch Bonagero likes likes us to push the ball, and uh, as soon as we get the rebound, Ryan gets it to me, and we push it, put pressure on their transition defense, and uh, that's what we was going with. Okay, thanks guys. Head back to the locker room. We'll take questions for Mitch now. Any questions for Coach? Mitch, can you comment on the game that Davis had, especially when you had to 
pull OB out of there? Well, Mike, I feel really good about Davis. I mean, I, I've been putting him in a lot. You know, I mean, it, it's not – it didn't really surprise me because I, I've, I've seen a marked improvement. Um, he's, he's a real good athlete. Uh, he altered shots. I thought he was a good matchup in there because he was bigger than the rider inside guys and he was creating some problems. He was aggressive. And um, – the more he plays, the better he's going to get. You know, so I got, I got to play. I think the 20 minutes is where I want to want to play in most games. Yeah, how about uh, Owen uh, Metry? It seemed like he was he was key in that run you made in the second half, and he had a three, and then threw a nice lob to Ross for a leg, kicked up to Jackson for a three. Do you, do you like what you saw from him? Yeah, I think I think he's marked now, settling into his role. Remember now, he didn't play a lot last year, so it, it's it's taken a little time. But he's athletic, and he, and he made a couple of really athletic plays. I thought. And you're right, he made a great pass to Rossiter in that run, and he, he got some key rebounds. So, you know, the development of him and Davis Martins is going to be key as the season goes on because they're, they're two guys that have to develop. How important was it to win this game, not only because it was a league game, but to kind of avoid the one and four start, which I'm sure you. Yeah, it was an important game, but I, I also, Mike, I, uh, I haven't talked a lot about the record. You know, I've been taking it one game at a time, and I think the kids have played well. You know, we've, we've had a tough schedule. Um, you know, this is our second road win, which is a real plus against two good teams. You know, Ryder to me is a, a real quality team. It's a great win. And, uh, you know, I think the team is growing, which is good. It's getting better. Looked like OD was ready to come out after his third foul, and you told him to stay in there. Were you regretting that at all? So he picked up the next one like in 10 yeah, seconds Yeah, we've later. been trying to tell him. You know, he, he, he gets these quick fouls, and he takes him right out of the game, and he, he doesn't get in a rhythm. Um, I think I think having Davis is not a nice luxury now. If he does get in foul trouble, we can. And my my thing is, I'm only gonna only play Davis at the four. You know, that's the spot he's gonna play. I'm not playing him anywhere else. So, it's a good two-headed monster. He and Odie, I think, right now. Are Odie's fouls are they just aggressive fouls? Are they kind of silly fouls? And what do you, what do you think? Uh, I, you know, Mark, I don't know. I, I got to look at the film. I mean, I haven't. I didn't really. It's the third straight game, I think, that he's had yeah, fouls. Yeah, he's, he's been in foul trouble three straight games. So. We've got to look at it. He's got to look at it and see what he's what he's doing. And we got to try and he's got to try and avoid quick fouls. Rocky mentioned Clarence playing D on uh, Justin Robinson today. Can you get get your take on that? And I thought Clarence uh, that was one of his best defensive halves of, the, of his career. I mean Robinson has been playing as well as any guard in the country. Had phenomenal numbers. I thought every shot he took was contested. Uh, I thought he did a great job on him. I think his size and length bothered him a little. That's why I was afraid to match up Rock on him. I thought he would be able to shoot over him. I, a couple of times he had the shot, but Clarence's length was there, and he hesitated. So that was a big key to the game, Clarence's defense on, on Robinson, because he's, he's capable. He had 28 against USC. He was phenomenal. A couple more questions? Maybe? Ryan, another 18 points, 17 rebounds. It almost seems like we take it for granted now, almost. I mean, we just have another, another performance for him. Well, he, was, he got every rebound in the second half. I mean, we just... That was I, I thought that was the other big key to the game, his rebounding. I mean, every shot that went up, he got he got the rebound. He was right there. And, you know, they are a good rebounding team, right? They're athletic. So that was a big – we went in and didn't want to give them second shots. Any initial thoughts on Princeton on Sunday coming right back? Up? A tough team. You know, different kind of team than Ryder. How, how so? Uh, way more pattern, a lot of a lot of different cut, you know, back doors and – it's a totally different game. It'll be an interesting game. It's a different game in terms of the athletic ability. But a good team. They picked, I think, first or second in the Ivy League. Last question. Was okay. this a game, as we said, first conference, Division One conference game in the country, Mitch? Was this a game you worried a little bit about coming in? The Bride was playing so well coming in. It's a conference yeah, game earlier. I was worried, Mark, but I, it was a good focus. You know, we, the kids came down Wednesday. We had a... Real good day yesterday. I took him to a movie. Uh, we bonded a little bit. We had a nice meal. Uh, we were we came in and you know practiced twice in the in the gym. I think they felt comfortable. Uh, it was just a good good feeling about this game. I thought going in, we our kids were really focused. Thanks, coach. Thanks. Thanks.